It's for all you delivery drivers out there getting tip baited right here. I walk in the place, about to pick up this order. Chinese brick and mortar, nine dollars and a quarter. Line getting shorter, uh, pick up for Jeff. Two order dim sum, but no egg rolls rep. So I step to the left, text message the chick. I got half of your shit, so you get what you get. She said, I'm pulling your tip. I said, I'm leaving your food. You act like it's my fault, but I ain't in the mood. Wouldn't like it was rude. I'm just keeping it real. This fried rice smell good with a nice ass deal. So I cancel the lady and about to get me tip baited. Past the cash for the bag, sat there and ate. Waited too long, and these apps ain't paying better praying to a driver, cause I ain't playing, I'm getting money. We talking about Mike Drop Barbecue, we talking about some barbecue. Let's get this on the road right here. Let's, let's get this meat looking good over here for y'all. Hold up for a second, let me... I'm gonna get this out of the fire a little bit. See that part right there, that all black? You don't eat that. That right there helps cook through the bone, cook through the meat that's around the bone. So don't worry about this part being dark. Like I said, to me, that's not dark enough. I gotta cook through. So we're gonna turn that over like this, let that cook through. All of these you have to cook through. See that to me is not dark enough. That's gotta cook through. I like to make sure that one side, like that's definitely not dark enough. That needs to cook through. Make sure one side is real nice and dark. The side that's the actual meat, you can get it charred up a little bit. It's fine to get it charred a little bit. But the part you're really looking for, like I said, this, this is the, the thick part. You want to cook it all the way through. Make sure it's nice and juicy, though. You don't want to dry it out by overcooking it. But, yeah. Like I said, let's, let's get these bottoms a little charred so I can make sure that they're all cooked through and everything. Like I said, we'll come back on these in a minute. Check on them later on. But, hey, today's what, November the 9th? The election's over. It's nice outside. I got all the dogs outside, and it's time to get some barbecue. This is how we do. There we go. Now it's looking how I like it. Get it nice and, and charred on the bottom side. Keep it, you know, medium on this side. I like all my stuff medium well. But, like I said, you don't eat the bones. You just cook through the bone to make sure it's cooked all around the bone. To me, this piece is still a little light to me. I don't like how light that is. It's not burning enough. Like I said, you don't want to overcook it, but at least get it to where it's charred. If it's not charred at all, because, I mean, that, that basically has no char on it. So you know that's probably not even cooked all the way through. So put that on there, let it get charred up a little bit. And I had already, you know, I put this in the, the fridge all night, marinated it all night. So this meat will be eating with no barbecue sauce. We don't use barbecue sauce around here. We eat it straight. This is all nice and seasoned with my special concoction. I use about four different seasonings to season this stuff. Eat it straight off the bone. No barbecue sauce whatsoever. Okay, everything's looking kind of charred, nice and charred on the bottoms. That's how I like my bottoms at least. The tops are decent, so all my tops are decent. You know, that one can still use a little bit of work, but I'm not going to overdo it. Uh, some of these are perfect. I like some of these looking good. But... I'm going to go in there and make me some rice, probably make some pork and beans or something. I got some potato salad in there. We're going to go to town on this. Like I said, to turn off the propane grill, the first thing you leave all the eyes on. But turn off the propane first to make sure all the, the gas is cleared out of your lines. Good to go. There's no, there's no gas in the lines at all. All the meat is cooked. Time to get it going. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good right there. So that piece, man, and I mean, it is super juicy. Look at all that juice inside of there. It's cooked all the way through. It's nice and super juicy. Man, this is a few nights of dinner, at least three nights. I'm going to say about three nights of dinner, but I'm about to tear this up right now. I'll probably let them eat on the bones later. Who knows? It's Saturday night, uh, November the 9th. I really haven't done much on Lyft this week. I only got one more day and a week left, but I've driven, what, 46 miles for them? Almost two hours, 142 bucks, four rides. Is it? It's just not anything really productive on the Lyft apps worth even taking. I mean, I can show you guys, you know, I haven't even cashed out yet. I'll cash out in a minute. But this is a ride I did today. This was a black SUV I did today. I mean, I took my client. I was talking to Jamil on the phone, picked up my clients from the airport, took them all the way up north. And while I was up north, they gave me a ride down south. I had to drive three miles south. Picked up somebody near Scottsdale, then drove them all the way down by ASU. And as you know, I live by ASU. So this was basically my ride home. It was a $37 ride home. So $37, bucks, you know, took about a half an hour, $74 an hour. Not bad. 
I mean, $50 an hour is, is what I'm, I'm always trying to use as my benchmark. If I'm below $50 an hour with a black SUV, now I'm, I'm in poverty at that level. I mean, I could be $50 an hour with a car that does better on gas, has less insurance to pay, less of a car note. Then I can make less than $50 an hour. I could probably hover around $35, $40 an hour and be fine. But $50 an hour is good. In a truck, and usually I'm running $70 to $100 an hour. Sometimes I've done $200 an hour in this truck. So it kind of averages out. But that's basically a, a good black SUV ride because I was coming south anyways. And so I grabbed the people and they paid $39 for it. So they paid 39 with a $10 tip. So they paid 49 out of the 49. I ended up getting 37. So Lyft ended up getting about 12 bucks out of everything, which is totally cool. Not, not a problem at all. But the fact that, you know, I was already North cause I picked up somebody at the airport, drove them all the way up North. I was just right there when I, as soon as I dropped the people off, I turned the app on. I was sitting in the parking lot. Ping came through black SUV, drove some guys down to the game, gave them my car. So hopefully they hit me back. Then I did another ride uh, last night. I think it was airport. Yeah, this one where I had a $15 surge. I was sitting at my house, got a ping to the airport, and then dropped this dude off not even too far from my house. So I was just sitting here, and a ping came. It was $25. I was like, yeah, well, let me go do it. It's 25 bucks, whatever. Drove up there. That's running about 50 bucks an hour, roughly about 50. Well, you could do that about three times an hour. So it's about, I would say, 60, 65 an hour. This is running about $65 an hour right here. Not bad. And no tip came through, nothing like that. Totally cool, dude, whatever. But I was just at the house chilling and the app pinged. And so I went and picked him up. Then I had this black SUV right here, which was a complete rip off. 21 miles, $56, not even $3 a mile. No tip. And guess what the people paid? $94 for that ride. It was a group of seven guys. They paid $94. I picked them up from a bar and took them home. $94 they paid to go, what, 15 miles, almost 16 miles. So they were paying about roughly $5 a mile. They were paying about $5 a mile for a black SUV, and I didn't even get $3 a mile. I got $2 and some change a mile, you know, 56 bucks. And, and I'm way down here. I live right up here where it's right up under where it says Phoenix. That's where I live. So this ride was a loss for me because I, when I was at the purple, I wasn't too far from my house at the purple, but I was like 56 bucks South. Maybe I can grab somebody South to bring them to the airport. Cause it was pretty late. I was like, maybe I can bring somebody back to the airport. Nope. That my friend is called dead miles. I'm 21 miles from right here. And then from there, there's about another 15. That's almost 35 miles I had to drive back. About 30 miles, 30, 35 miles back, dead miles. So I just turned the app off and ended my night. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing anything. But I thought I was ending it because that was this one. And that's when I got home and I did this one at the airport. So, yeah, I ended up getting 25 bucks, but I was home by that time. And then this little one right here, this was I had a $19 surge on this. I went four miles, 22 bucks. I was going downtown. I drove two miles to get to somebody and took them two miles. So it was a real quick, you know, done, one and done. And I ended up, I think I, that was the only ride I did that night, I think. Let me see. Yep, that was the only ride I did. That was one ride. And that's all I basically did. Like, I've been working so hard here at the garage that I really haven't had time to drive lift, which is good. And I've done a lot of private rides. All my private rides are, are doing very well. That's one good thing about it. A lot of people are going through my, uh, transactions for square let me show you my square stuff because this is what i'm doing on square right now all my transactions in square so they got to transfer me some money i could transfer it but i'm like no i'm only gonna lose like a buck whatever so that was a 60 dollar one a couple of nights ago another 60 dollar one 60 dollar then that and that day that was a hundred and um 120 but this one was for the trip to the airport. One was the trip from the airport. The from the airport was actually last night with this one, that November the 7th. So on the 7th, no, it was on the 8th, the 8th. So one of these was for November the 3rd. One of them was for November the 8th. So I just got paid ahead of time. So I did a trip last night, November the 8th, which is how I got all the way to where that black SUV was far, far from my house. That's how I got down there. I did a $60 ride from the airport just to the east of there, or to the west of there. 
And then when I grabbed these guys, I had to drive a little further to get to Gilbert because I was already where I was. I had to get to Gilbert to get them. So it, it all worked out. So I ended up making about $140. Let me see, about $120. Yeah, close to about $150. Made about $150 last night just dealing with all that crap. Made about $150 and just called it good. But my private rides, you know, these are what I'm doing, you know, they're they're not doing bad. They're not doing bad. And they're actually keeping, you know, if I could do, let's say, five or six a month, that's basically, you know, the truck note right there. So here's that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That's about six in the big 240. That was a real good one, about 240. That one, that one. So the truck basically pays for itself. I'm not worried about the truck. It pays for itself. It also pays for the car, pays for the insurance. YouTube money pays. Then all my mechanic work covers everything plus savings, which is what I call retirement. So basically, the system that I'm using right now of mixing up cash rides with Lyft and Uber rides, but also throwing some garage rides in and doing content at the same time is keeping me afloat to the point where I can produce content and show people how we can go out, use Square to make money. You know, do these transactions on Square. Don't sit there and think you only got to trust Lyft. Like I said, I only made $142 on Lyft last week. I made way more using Square, plus even more using cash in my pocket, plus even more when I'm getting wire transfers into my account doing mechanic work so youtube might pay me let's say 200 dollars a week because i don't really do a lot on youtube this channel support is carrying me so you guys are help carrying me on the youtube channel because the adsense is not there but you guys are carrying me which is helping a lot so i appreciate you guys helping me keep this channel running i don't want to let it go i want to keep doing repairs i want to keep driving i want to keep showing people there are ways to make money today right now you do not have to sit around and beg these apps. You can make money right now. So I appreciate you guys for helping me with that. Let me cash this out real quick. Whatever. Let's, let's cash this out. I'll probably I'll probably drive later anyways. I don't care. Oh, a dollar twenty-five. You got me. Whatever. Whatever. All right. So basically that's what I'm I'm working on right now. So most likely within the next maybe two or three days. I'm going to have to do a live stream so we can get some other drivers on because we got a winter coming up and you know winter gets slow. So we need some stuff that we need to talk about. Uh, had to wear my battle fatigues and blend with the trees, committing penalties. You ain't assembled with me. We the three double zero, a villain superhero, angel hall like the Nero, cigars like Puro. Celebrate the hating that we get because it's like that, despite that, dislike that. You can put the pipe back, you jaded crack baby from the 80s because you tripping. Time keep on slipping, but I'm going to keep on lifting all my people out of poverty with missions and assignments. 11 11 tatty because I stay in the alignment. I'm bringing all the smoke to your choke because I'm on one. I'm not done. I fear no man, do not run. The shit that you got is all the shit that I had. I've been up, now I'm on my landing pad like SpaceX. Because of a podcast. I think your podcast has changed my life. And I'm going to share this podcast with everyone I meet.